Okay, I look fucking busted. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Um, so this week I wanted to bring you along because I'm doing a few fun things. I have two days on TV and then I also have to go to this launch event for Laura Mercier and Makeup by Mario is going to be there so that's kind of cool. Come along with me. I'm heading to TV right now. Um, I'll be there soon and once I get there I will try and show as much as I can. I really kind of can't show too much of it because we're filming things that are way ahead of schedule. We're about to be filming season 10 and I think they're still on season 9 so I'll show as much as I can once we get there. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Love you. Have fun. Okay, guys, I'm on set right now. And um, yeah, this is basically our little glam room. It's not so glamorous, but we got all the makeup here. My hair stuff is in my pockets because we are going back out and we are filming. Well, actually, I'm not filming, but they're filming. So we're getting the talent ready. So yeah, let's see if I can walk out. If not, let's, we'll try. Okay, so now that she's on set, and um, she's doing her interviews, I get to hang out. The first one is usually about like a two hour interview, so I hang out, I could go outside, do whatever really. They have me on call, so uh, if they need me, they call me, but they usually don't. So yeah, I'm just kind of hanging out. I get to sit in this fancy ass room. Boom. <laughs> Not fancy at all. Literally not fancy. We got TV, but I usually just bring my computer and I edit my videos and do my emails and shit like that. So yeah, so it's probably all I'm gonna show for set because it's just on repeat. We go out there, get her ready. She goes out, check the monitors, come back in, sit and relax and wait until the next interview. So we have five interviews today and then yeah, that's the um, fabulous life of working on a TV show. And I come in sweatpants, so really nice. I love it. The rest of the week, let's see, what do we have to do this week? So I have two days on TV, and then after, in between the days, I'm going to a Laura Mercier event with my friend Sasha. Um, Makeup by Mario, which is Kim Kardashian's makeup artist, is teaching a class or teaching a class and like showing us the new products that just are coming out. Um, so that'll be fun. It's like a whole bunch of like influencers and beauty that'll be there and just a big event. I'll try and film what I can for that. And um, then back on set again, I think I might be going and getting some work done. I was thinking of doing well, obviously, I'm going to do a little bit more Botox in here just because, like, I've got a little bit of more movement than usual. But other than that, probably the smile lines, too, because they're, like, coming back strong. But I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so that's it for TV. See you guys soon. I just finished showering. I shaved my face, brushed my teeth. Everything's good now. Um, I do have to do this little like Instagram rant currently. So, oh, so yeah, I'm in my studio now, and um, I have to go on to like my stories and just tell people a little bit about this article that just came out recently. Um, it's basically on racism and a salon that I worked in at the time. So, but like, look how messy it is in here. Like, I need to clean all this up. Um, but yeah, so I have to like go, kind of just explain my part of it. I just feel like it's good to put it out there and just let people know that 
this stuff still does happen. So I'm gonna go on and do that in a moment, but I just wanted to show you guys a few new products that I have that I just really like. Um, if I can find them, that'd be great. Okay, so one of the products is from e.l.f. This is their 16-hour camo concealer. And guys, when I tell you, this is literally the same consistency, the same texture, everything as Shape Tape from Tarte. It's amazing. I have two shades here. I use one of them to like conceal just to like really just take away any of the redness or anything. And then the other one is to highlight. So it just brightens everything up. So I've been using these two for the past couple weeks and I'm loving them. It's Tan Sand and Medium Sand are the shades that I use. Tan Sand is the one that I used for like concealing. And then medium sand is to highlight and brighten everything up. So those are a must. I know like tape shape can be expensive for some people. So if you really like that and like can't afford to be constantly buying a new one of them, get e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. It's amazing. Um, another one I just picked up recently. Um, I've been using this maybe like a month now. Um, I bought like travel size little guy one. Um, this is Tatcha. This is their silk primer and literally guys, this is amazing. One, it smells so good. So I don't know if you know this about Tatcha, but if you do buy any of their products at all, um, some of the proceeds go to helping the girls in Japan towards education, which I think is amazing. I have a nonprofit myself and we work with education in Guatemala. So I support any brand that does something similar like that. Okay, and the last product, again, I bought a little baby size just because I don't know how I usually feel about these ones. But this is the Farsale. This is their rose gold elixir. And I am obsessed with it. It is so good. I'm actually probably going to use that right now before I put any primer on. This stuff literally makes your face glow like no other. Plus it has... 24 karat gold in it. On that note, I am going to sign off on this right now. I have to go do my little ranting. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm getting ready to head out the door. All right, guys, I am walking to the event right now. I didn't have much time to film earlier because I had to do a little rant on Instagram. So um, yeah, I was basically working in a salon that was racist. And it finally all came out into like the public, so that's what was happening. But this is what I'm wearing. I mean, can't really see it because it's cold. Just like a big sweater and I tucked it in to change it up a bit. Um, I am almost to the Laura Mercier event right now and I will show you guys some more once I get inside. Amra is my really good friend. I've never done her makeup before. Um, but she's so good at doing her own that I've only so experienced her makeup. So don't tell you. Um, yeah, Amra's a makeup master. And you guys know her, I'm sure you all follow her. Um, so we did foundation on her. And I did her brows. And then we did a little bit of individual lashes. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the eyes. Now, I was thinking of doing a super natural look on Amra because it's so different from what we always see her in. But I felt like
Honestly, not that different. It just depends on the, on the person. What's your must-have when I'm actually played out? Yes. Do you have a problem? No. Well, that's good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we had just one. Definitely be the powder. I've been using it for years and just sort of fun with it. Um, and then for myself, for my personal self, I, I'm obsessed with the um, tips and moisture. I love to use that myself. If I have to take photos or like be on camera, that's like my. She's like obsessed with Emerson. She just started following her because she just went on Instagram. She literally asked me so many questions about her. She said, Wait, so this is her job and she dresses up and then takes the pictures every day? <laughs> yes, you mean? Like, that's what she does. She's like, Oh my god, like, that's my dream. I was like, How can I do it? I'm like, Well, you're too old now. In that case, let us do that. She's like, Can she get clothes for free? I'm like, Yes. <laughs> guys so the rest of this vlog didn't really work out how I planned it to um let's see let me set this up when I was on well let's see so we had the Laura Mercier event on Wednesday today's Friday now and um after that event I went out to eat and I think I got food poisoning, so the next day I spent it literally throwing up all day long. Like, it was disgusting. I was also on set too, so I was literally constantly sneaking away to like the bathroom to just run and like whoop. So that wasn't fun and I don't think I was going to be filming any of that, so we skipped that. So um, I'm taking today off, and since I'm not going out and doing anything really, I might go to like Home Goods or something, or like 
maybe CB2 and start looking for some decorations. Look at this mess. Oh man. Like all of this needs to go away. I'm, it's giving me like crazy anxiety. So I'm going to be working on that now. Um, but I just wanted to end off the vlog here. Um, I hope you guys got to see a little bit of my life and what goes on when I'm actually working. Um, I'll try to show some of me in the salon when I can. I'll have to find a way to do that or like see if people will be allowed being filmed or want to be. Um, so anyways, yes, I know this vlog was kind of like patchy and didn't really like put together like a whole story, but I tried and I'm sorry I got sick, so kind of like messed up some of it. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big like down below. Make sure you comment on any other videos you'd like to see. And also make sure you subscribe to my channel. Bye guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Be high